G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. This video is about the Sea to Summit Airbus Premium Large Pillow. Now, I'm going to get all the specs out of the way with the cheat sheet so I don't miss anything. And then we'll go over it, I'll tell you what I think of it and what changes I've made from the last one I had. So, let's grab the cheat sheet. Okay, they say the weight of it is four ounces because this is the large, which is 113.4 grams. Uh, I think it says the best use for sleeping well. Comes with an ultra light or ultra silk stuff sack, which is in one of my other bags, which I've soft in, just save it and store it, and I just can't find it. But when you roll these up, let's show you. I've got the vent open into thirds, into thirds and I just roll the whole up and stuff that into the stuff sack and that goes nice and small and fits in it is a bit of a struggle but not to the point where it's a pain in the ass if it was like a couple of millimetres wider that would go in a lot easier but that's okay because I don't store this in the actual little stuff sack it came with now it comes in about four colours. The one I had was like a lime green, the first one I had. They do a black one, this is the grey one, and I think they do a blue one too. Uh, let's get back to the cheat sheet. The fabric is a 50D pillow lock compatible polyester fabric. That's the outside, it's really smooth and nice. And what else have we got here? It's yeah, it says inflate the pillow in just a couple of breaths and fine tune easily with the multifunctional valve, which I'll be showing you. The Brush 50D polyester knit is very soft and comfortable. I'll go over that. Curved internal baffles create contours that cradle your head. We'll go over that. Scalloped bottom edge centers pillow around your shoulders, whether you are sleeping on your back side or upright in a chair. A synthetic fill contact surface and TPU bladder increases airflow for additional comfort. Hello Maggie. A young magpie. So now let's get down to it. I had one of these before, I think it was about eight, ten years old, and we got a kitten. And if you follow my channel you may have seen him uh, when I was doing the Valhalla <laughs> bivy bag. Uh, I think he decided to play with it one day because I picked it up and it had a couple of punctures in. So I had to get myself another one. The valve, we've got two ways. Let's close it first. As it's open, we've got the flap on this side to the smaller hole at the top which will pull back and you can blow in that one to inflate it. So the valve's open and that's not going down. And whilst we've got it like this, it's got a small little, what is it? Aqua blue color thing. And if you gently touch that, if you listen, and let the air out to soften the pillow to how you desire it. Excuse me. And let's blow it up all the way again. And there's the parent and another baby, magpie. And again, back to the valve, we've got this one here, the larger pull. If we pull that, the pack just deflates nice and easy. So let's blow that up again.
Now looking at that, I don't think the cheat sheet said how actual deep from top to bottom this is. So let's have a look, see if it, I missed it. No, it doesn't say on the sheet I printed out. But looking at it, we're looking around about from the highest point to the lowest point there is probably 12 to 14 centimeters. And the lowest point here is we're looking about eight, nine centimeters. But then we've got the actual dip in here where your head will lay to give it comfort. And that's probably one and a half centimeters lower than this front piece. We can feel the actual shape of this inside. It, it isn't just flat. Coming across here, you got, yeah, sorry about that. I'll just put it on my microphone. Coming across here, you've got ridges that go like this. So it actually comforts your head. Pillow lock si system. They show you on the back here, a little image for it. What that is, it's like a Velcro system where you Velcro it on here and then uh, you've got the double side, or the Velcro, you've got the hook on one. I think it's a hook on this one. And then you put the loop on natural sleeping mats and that's got uh, like a double sided tape holding the loop on there. So all you're going to be doing is sticking that to your sleeping mat and it's not going to be sliding off your sleeping mat. Now, I don't use it because in the night, because I turn around to sleep on my back or I sleep on my side, I get different angles. I like to be able to just move the pillow to suit. But if you're a person who gets that one spot and you've got your pillow in its place and sleep, that's great because you don't lose your pillow. Now the first one I had, these at the back where you blow it up and let it down were slightly bigger because I got a seated summit hand pump, just a little small bellows one, which I used to use with my older version to pump it up. And that's too big for this one. So they've made the valve on here smaller. So I don't know why they've done that. Maybe it's just to save weight. So I don't know if they've made another one to uh, fit this, I'll find out and if they have I'll see if I can get a hold of it and we'll give, a, give it a try and we'll have a look and see if it's any good because I'd rather use a pump and get fresh air in these than blowing my breath in there and getting the condensation in there and the dampness and leaving mould or whatever it is that's left behind. Now my first one it was extra, it felt extra stiff because I wasn't used to using one. But as time over the years went by, one, I got used to it, and two, the material stretched, and the rubber bladder, I think, slightly changed shape. It changed its shape to match my head. It became a little bit softer. And that was really comfortable after all those years of molding it. Now, this new one, I've used about, let's work it out, 5, 10, 15, about 17, 18 times, or 18 nights, 17, 18 nights. I just drop at the air pressure slightly. And with the air at night getting cooler, these get softer anyway. So this one, I don't have to change the material, the thickness of it, or the mould of it. But in that shorter period of time, for them 17, 18 nights, rather than the 8, 10 years, I'm finding it comfortable. It's, how can I say? I, I think they have changed the shape of it. I think they've made it slightly deeper in there. And this feels here like it gives a bit more. So I think they may have changed the actual material inside the bladder to a, a softer material. So comfort wise, already this is comfort or comfortable. Now these do come in different sizes. I've got the regular size 
of the older version, which I got just to save weight. Now, I didn't really, oh, I couldn't get that one to be comfortable. It was just too small. Even though it's only a matter of a couple of inches shorter, and they're probably the same coming down, it just was not as comfortable. I just needed that little bit bigger area to support my head on it and feel comfortable. It, it, it's like sleeping on your arm. It's gonna support your head the same as sleeping on the pillow, but it's not gonna be as comfortable because it's only one part being supported. Uh, this is supporting most of my head and my neck to a degree. So would I recommend one of these? Well, my old one, even with that taking so long to get it molded into suiting me and how I sleep and comfort wise, that, was a, that would have been a yes. This new one is a yes also. If you're anything like me and you are moving around, then don't bother putting the pillow lock system on it because it's just nice to tweak, tweak it that little bit to give you that little bit more comfort. So yes, I can recommend this if you're similar to me with your way you sleep at night and what you prefer. And again, if you want to, don't want it as high. You can let some more air out so your head's not so high up. And from how I have it, all you need to do is put, oh, excuse me, a couple more breaths in there, short breaths, and make it firmer and higher. That's simple. Very nice, comfortable. The material on top feels really soft. I notice I have pulled a couple of the stitches, but I don't mind about that. So yeah, so if you've enjoyed the video and you're not a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to it and select all. And select the thumbs up button, the like button. And again, if you are already a subscriber, thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.